is happening people and welcome back to the Jimmy Ramble YouTube channel. I'm not sure whether I actually said the Blade Ramble last time. That is of course our main channel where I talk all things Sheffield United but right here is where we talk broader football chat. Yes I'm doing a Sheffield United <laughs> football manager edition. However it's not purely going to be Sheffield United related content on this channel so as we continue to grow, there will be more variety coming to the channel. But for now, we're sticking to Football Manager. And after a, a bumpy start in terms of saves and crashing and not recording properly from my end, we're, we're off and running. We got our first point of the season in the first game of the season at Goodison Park. And now it's our first home game and we're welcoming Brighton and Ove Albion. So let's jump into it. And here we are, if you remember rightly, John Egan was injured last time. So, yeah, gutted. But we've brought in Chrissy Basham, the ever reliable Chrissy Basham, who was actually wanted from some, by some Saudi clubs, which is Al Tai and Al Ain. Okay, Al Ain, I think I know Al Ain. Um, and we've moved Anel to the inside, where I think it's his best position as the centre of that three. So let's see how we get on. Christy Basham is lacking in match fitness. He may struggle to stay out of the game. Okay, we're going to skip past all this now. Let's, let's get down to it and play some football. Oh, they got Igor from Ghostbusters. Ansu Fati. Oh, Mitoma. Solid match. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Our home form's important to us, so let's go out there and make the advantage count. Yeah, let's say that. Gus is looking aggressive, I'm not sure about that. In the tunnel, how much will your team miss John Egan? It's not ideal, but we're adapting. We believe we can go out there and win. How's the squad feeling right now? What's the sense you get of the mood? We're in a great place, the atmosphere is really strong. I think that shows on the pitch. What sort of match are you expecting between the two teams with starkly different tactical styles? This is what football's about. It's great to have teams set up in different... Uh, set up in different and it, it's an exciting challenge for me and the team and for the team have i read that wrong or is that written poorly this is what football is about it's great to have teams set up in different yeah it's, it's not right is it and it's an exciting challenge for me and the team yeah let's sound uneducated and say that just so we can get to the game let's be right we know our way setting up love that here we go we're off already. Webster to Lamptey. Vinny Souza tidies up. Well done, boys. Straight into him now. It's Chrissy Basham giving the ball away. Tom Davis intercepts, but Bash into Hamer to Davis. Left to Trusty. Thomas on the overlap. Oh, Thomas, can he get to the byline? Is he going to? Is he going to actually? Oh, it's inside to Archer. Oh, Archer so close, but he's offside. Oh no, it's a goal kick. Well done, Blades. Good start. Good start. Here we go. Bash. Knocking it long so Igor can pick it up. Lewis Dunk. Back to the keeper. Jason Steele, who I think we need to press. Igor again. Jimmy Milner. Igor to Dunk. They're going to go long here, aren't they? They've got to do. Igor. Oh, no. Passes inside. Dunk, is he going to go long? To Gross. To Milner, Dunk, Igor, just passing it around us. Here's Mitoma, Ansu Fati, Mitoma again. This isn't looking great. Mitoma dances around Georgie Baldock and oh, should have done better, but Fodringham scores, uh, Fodringham saves even. Well done, Blades. That were decent. <coughs> Goes him with the free kick. And now at the far post, but he's offside. He's offside. Did he stray offside? The referee appears to be considering the decision. Checking the goal review. Looked on. Looks on to me. Oh, we'll see. What's happening here? Oh, no, he's off. The lines don't look great. Oh, no. Is it been given? It's been given. Do not understand that. I don't know whether it... Said it very clearly or not, but wow, we're one up. This is surely more by luck than good management. Ah, here we go, we might return to type here. Gross with the corner. 
Touches the top of the netting as it goes over the bar. Thomas with the long throw to Archer. Archer to the byline. Thomas again. Hamer on the edge of the box. Takes it into the box. Oh, it's just over from Gustavo Hamer. Unbelievable. And that's half time. And Sheffield United go into the dressing room with the lead. I'm delighted with your performance so far. Keep it up. I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it. No, I'm delighted. Let's say it how it is. And they all look happy with that. Keep going, boys. Oh, Evan Ferguson's on. Of course he is. Absolute wonder kid. Balled up now to Basham. Basham inside to Davis. Davis plays in Sousa further up the field, but Gross tackles him. Of course he does. How are Burnley drawing at Liverpool? We're up to fourth in the league, people, in the live league table. What is going on? We know what it's about, though. Just bank those points as soon as we can. Tom Davis has gone into the book. Brighton Physio's on. McBurney now chasing down the line. Clearly doesn't get the ball. Hassel Gross out to Igor. Igor. Mitoma to Lalana. Evan Ferguson's through on goal. Oh, and it's a great save from Fodringham. What have they done to Wes in this game? They believe the hype, don't they? Pascal Gross with the corner ball. And it's cleared by McBurney. Well done, son. And Sue Fatty gets the ball, but out blades, out. McBurney intercepts, but Webster picks up. And that's the highlights over. Coming up to 70-ish minutes, let's make a change. Who's tired? Let's have a look at this. Luke Thomas is having another good game, but looks tired. So let's bring him off for Yasser. Yasser Larucci. Tom Davis has got to come off. He's on a yellow. His fit condition is poor. 690, it's not bad, but it's not great. I want Slomani to be more involved in this team. And we like him as a box-to-box -box man, don't we? Slomani at the moment. If I do that, I wonder if it'll keep it this way. Complete wing back for Larucci. And let's bring Bogle on as well, because George looks tired and now nervous. He's not a defensive wing back, is he? But we'll keep it that way just because of the scoreline. Right. Okay, three three changes is plenty. Probably too much, but I just want some fresh legs on. Right. Mitoma for Brighton. Back to Igor. Igor to dunk. Igor again. Stop it. Come on. Let's tackle him. Oh, deep cross. Fodringham punches away Slimani to no one. Slimani, you're not impressing me at the minute, son. LaRucci clears the ball, but it's into space. Lalana collects. Gross to Jao Pedro, who's come on that I didn't even notice. Lalana on the edge of the box. Tries to curl one around the left-hand post, but it's wide, thank goodness. Let's make another change just to kill a bit of time. Cameron Archer not having the best of games. Let's bring Benny Tri Where's uh Oh, Brewster's still injured. Of course he is. Benny Triori can come on. He scored a goal for the under-21s recently. Ollie McBurney looks absolutely cream-crackered. If I had more of a formation breakdown, then I might, in fact. Let's have a little bit of a mess about with tactics. So I'll have Triori up front on his own. And I want McBurney to come back so I can get Jimmy Mack on and get a little bit more solid. An advanced playmaker will make him. Okay, let's go with that. Oh, four minutes to play, not again. Do not concede late on. Well done, Vinny Souza. Turning out to be a right player for us. Pascal Gross on the edge, dunk. Pushing back, United, that's it. Webster now trying to get to the edge of the box. Does. Oh, and Ferguson with an unbelievable strike. First time into the bottom corner. We are getting done by quality, aren't we, late on? My goodness me. Oh, this is gutting. That is, that's just class, isn't it? The substitute, Evan Ferguson. If 
five minutes added time. Oh no. And it's Brighton in possession. Keep pushing them back, Blades. Keep pushing them back. We're trying to hold on. But now we've got to hold on. It's going to be Tottenham all over again, isn't it, this? Oh no, João Pedro on the attack. Fans fatty. He's offside. He's well offside. Come on, referee. Free kick to Chef United. That's right. United in possession as we come to the highlight package. But now Brighton collect. And there's a minute left on the clock, just about. Brighton in possession. Lewis Dunk brings it out of defence. Billy Gilmore. Incisio. Inci what's his name? Dahoud. Fatty, no, 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 no. Oh, what an important challenge by Anel. McAtee now bringing the ball out for Chef United. Go on, Jimmy Mack. Go on, Jimmy Mack. Go on, son. All the way. Oh, oh. LaRucci. Don't mess this up, son. Don't mess this up. You're gonna. Oh, 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 oh it's gone! James McAtee scores for Sheffield United with probably the last kick of the game. Oh my goodness. Yasser LaRucci. Let's watch this again. Plays a beautiful ball back to Austin Trusty. Trusty squares it to Hamer. Hamer first time to Bogle. He takes a deflection and McAtee picks up the pieces. Oh, James McAtee! Surely the winning goal, but here are Brighton with a throw in. Oh my goodness, do not do this to me. Do not, thank you. Thank you, Wesley. Thank you. What a result for Sheffield United. What a result. That is unbelievable. The best performer was Anel Aknet Hodzic, who even moved to the centre of defence. So yes, great move by the manager. Bogle came on, did really well. Got himself an assist, a little bit of a dodgy assist. Hamer got the assist for the first goal. McAtee, what a brilliant goal. We're going to have to get him inside somewhere. Back to the dressing room. Well done, lads. That was a good win. We didn't play as well, but I'm happy with the result. Very well done, lads. We weren't at our best, but got the result. No, let's just tell them it was a good win. Let's, we don't have to say, but, but, but. Well done, boys. That were brilliant. One from the training ground. Scored from a set piece. Super sub. You played sub scored. Uh, First victory, you guided the team to a first victory, yeah, soz. Um, the match today looked like it could have gone either way, but isn't it fair to say you were relatively confident that you'd win? I honestly never believed for a nanosecond that we weren't going to get a win. Well, that's not true. I don't want to resort to cliches, uh, like having the rub of the green. My confidence wasn't shaken in spite of that chance that fell to the opposition. What I feel really isn't important is the players who matter most. I'll be the first to admit that we weren't comfortable. I don't like any of these. Let's go with cliches. Plenty of stoppage time drama here. Did you expect quite so much to be added on? I was keeping time too, and they got it spot on. I'm going to say that because I scored it in 94th minute. Can you put into words your reaction when James McAtee scored late on for your side? I don't think my heart rate has settled back down to normal yet. It was the road our efforts warranted. Absolutely right. Look at that. Sheffield United are up to third in the Premier League. Sorry, Eki. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Look at this, played really well. Well done, Blades. So, Jaden Bogle is close to triggering a clause. Five appearances away from making 60 appearances for United, which will trigger a transfer clause that was part of his move from Derby. If triggered, Chef United will have to pay Derby 500k. That does not sound good for us. I've got no transfer budget. I'm just about spending my wage budget. Will it come out of my transfer budget and then I'm going to be overdone? I don't know, because when I sold the clauses, they went into my transfer budget, didn't they? Let's have a look. Transfers. Clauses. So you can sell clauses. I don't know whether I covered this last time or whether it got cut out with all the messing around. Like, well, I sold... Um, what's his name? Him that's dating Megan McKenna. Fast lad, speedboat with no driver. Ollie Burke, Ollie Burke. I sold Ollie Burke's claws and got a little bit of money. I'm holding on to this one. We will Lancashire for now because he's valued at seven to 10 million. And I think he's gonna be a player, you know. So 10% of his next transfer will be owed to Sheffield United, whatever it is, his next transfer. So if he goes for seven million, we get 700 grand. If he goes for 10 million, we get a million. It's and we do all these clauses as well. After 10 league appearances, we get 500k. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to sell it. I don't want to at the minute anyway. We'll see what this 
Bogle clause triggers later. And now it inspires Sheffield United win. Brilliant. Post-match presser. Let's have a chat with you boys. Tell us about a McHosic player of the match winning performance today. I wouldn't swap him for anyone, not even Matthias Delict. <laughs> Come on. It was a good team performance overall, but he did stand out as one of the best players on the pitch. Yes, let's say that. What are your thoughts on the use of technology in football following your win today? I fully support anything that helps the officials make the right decision. You seem to have got one over on Roberto De Zerbi with that result. How are you feeling about the battle of wits? I like to think I'm well versed in this particular art. Hopefully now, him and everyone else... He didn't really say anything, did he? Can't imagine this result will change anything. I don't really want to discuss that right now. I'm not going to, you know, get into a war with everybody. I've already got Rob Edwards saying we're rubbish. And then I've had to say, well, you're even more rubbish because I'm the mature one. Um, Harlan steals the show. Goodness me. Uh, it's got an accurate finish. Highlight of the match was a hat trick by Erling Haaland. Of course it was. Of course it was. Now then, this is interesting. Lone approach for Benny Osborne. That's not a very good approach though, is it? Let's be right. Come on, Millwall. 20%? I want all of his wages paying. I'm willing to negotiate it. You don't have to pay anything monthly. Let's negotiate. And see what you say. I know you've got more money than you're making out you what. Brentford next. Interesting. So Villa won at Palace. Newcastle won at Fulham. We're down to sixth. Europe's still on. For the Mighty Blades. Now then, that training. Oh, offers made for Lingard, Leicester and Borough. Leicester and Borough? If we can get Benny Osborne off the books. Let's see if we can get anywhere near. I'm gonna be over budget if I do this, I'm gonna be over budget if I do this, I'm gonna be over budget if I do this. But where a player it could be. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'll take my pain. <laughs> I don't wanna get offering that much. Come on. Let's be fair, lads. 15 goals and assists combined, 90k, yeah, I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm going to go up to 27 and a half. Oh my, God. no I'm not, I'm going to go up to 30. Non-negotiable. And he accepts. So I've got to find 30k in my wage budget from somewhere. I'll have to delay it until I can get work something out. Scout meeting, signed Dwight, Dwight McNeil as a priority is extremely doubtful they'll want to come to us as a transfer and no interest in coming on loan. Andy plays in, Ever in Everton's first team. What are our scouts doing? I need to sort that out, but I'm just keen to crack on playing games at the minute. And why not when things are going so well? So let's keep rolling. 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 Rolling into Brentford. Oh, it's at home. Like that. Traore does well again. Scored again for the 21s. Transfer deadline in a week, so I can't delay it that long, can I? Start the presser. I think we need to capitalise. What were we expecting from Brentford after a rather surprising defeat to Man City? I think they must mean the scoreline. I think we need to capitalise on any uncertainty. I expect we'll see the real Brentford. I need to respect the quality they have. I think they might be a bit fragile, so we need to press... I hold my advantage where we can. I pay no attention to what the matches are recent develops. My focus is squarely on Sheffield United versus Brentford. Will you be looking for the team to pick up where they left off last time out? That performance is where we want to set the bar. Confidence and self-belief in the squad is high and we're hopeful of playing that way again. What's the latest on John Egan's injury? I don't actually know. Does it tell us here? Have a look at him. Sprain ankle between five days and two weeks, so not too long now. I'm expecting him back pretty soon, and it'll be great to have him available. I'd like to think we'll have him back in the relatively near future if all goes well. Very good, very good. Deadline day recruitment team. Attend the meeting. What are we talking about, lads? First of all, here are the players whose contracts are set to expire before the start of next season or have already expired. Yep, I'm happy with all of them. Okay, skip to player status. Here's a recap of all the players we're looking at 
to offer for transfer. Hmm. Don't show first team players only. Don't show first team players only. Bash is attracting interest. Hackford's attracting interest from Coventry. I like that. Let's get him offered again. Offer via transfer room. Loan. 100% of his wages. Agreed playing time. I want him as... Let's, uh, let's at least say a regular starter. Let's not get greedy and say important player. Because it'd do well for him out on loan. At Cov. Where is Benny Osborne? Oh, there. Here we go. Ben Osborne. Offer out again. Five mils a bit high. Let's go for two and a half. Johnny Fleck is out on loan. Can't remember where. I'm on Union Berlin. Right. Don't think he'll come back, to be honest. So these are our recommended players. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ben de Ben de de Ben Kabango. I do like Ben Kabango. I'm happy to have him on my shortlist. But again, 2027. It's probably going to be top end of 3 mil. We've got no money. Unless we're selling anybody. Hamza Chowdhury is joining Fulham. So why is he a target for me? If he's on loan at Fulham and he's joining Fulham, no point having him on the list, is the boys? I'm going to end this meeting here because I don't think you're getting my drift. And we will sort this out another time. But not right now. Because that is the end of the episode. So thank you for joining us. Join us next time. Let's see if we can get a winning run going this time. So we have three points against Brighton. Four points from two games. Easy this manager lark, isn't it? How are you getting on with your saves? Let me know in the comments below. For those of you that have started the beta. Obviously we haven't got long now till the full release. Which will be brilliant. Really looking forward to that. Let me know as well if you think once we've done this and the, the official game's out... Do we have this as like a trial version? Do we just keep on with Sheffield United and see where we go? Because I think it's picking up now that the season's started. Let's see where we get to is my personal opinion. But listen, it's what you guys want as well, isn't it? So let's see how we do. Come on, you red and white wizards. Up the blades! Up the blades!